There's a tin in the shed. The tin contains everything dead. Metal, rubber, bakelite, lead. Yes, I mean strips of actual lead. Fat screws, clips, odd bolts and blades. What is this from? The memory fades. Assorted washers spotted with rust. Brass hooks, nails magnetic with dust. Those stupidly strong springs of steel. It all hurts my fingers, my fingers as I feel. That's how I tend to rifle through my tin in the shed. Fingertip wise. Sometimes I close my eyes. I think I must like the sound, scrabbling around, scratting through the wreck of not just my past lives, but the dad-in-law I never met. I was given the task of clearing out his creaking shell of a shed. Twenty years stood in wait, foot of the garden, by the back gate. When Rini died, I got sent in. And what do you know? He had a tin. A tin in that old shed. Almost the same as mine. And a stash of handwritten letters he must have known would one day be read concerning his first wife, how she'd been found dead while he was away dodging bullets of lead fired by Nazis. In France, she'd gone to the river to drown. And so, for a while, I had two tins. His shed, new owners pulled it down. Similar stuff, one more vintage. But eventually, I threw them in together. That's how the Bakelite doorknob came to be. And come to think of it, those strips of lead in my tin in the shed. I think it's the sound I like. Rattling off the windows, stroking the spokes of bike, tongue and groove the wooden floor, forget what I was looking for, lost in a kind of trance. And anyway, I never find anything of any use. It's like I'm alive for any excuse. And when ideas do come to mind, I'm going to look in the shed, I'll say, and be gone, missing out of action, missing half the day, come back in bleeding, dripping fingers red. What have you been doing? Nothing. Just looking. having a good old rummage through that tin in the shed.